All right, guys, welcome to today's video. We got the 92 M3. Doing some little things to the lip right now. All right, so we got this RP RPK lip, RKP, whatever it is. We got this thing on. Um, I double sided taped it just to kind of test fit it on. I haven't really driven the car hard because I was afraid the lip was going to fall off. So the RKP uh, comes with or it's same mounting holes as the regular bumper. So it fits right up. You don't have to drill anything. And basically what I was doing was a bolt, a washer, and then another washer going on the back side of it and basically going like this. It should hold. Um, we need to take this thing fully off, get it lined up correct because some of the holes are a little off and I know it's because it's not perfectly fit on. It's really hard to do it just double sided tape and get it perfectly lined up. I'm super stoked because Ryan actually spent the whole morning setting up a lot of the screen printing stuff. So we set up the dryer um, and the flash dryer. And those are two things that are gonna be essential to actu us actually making tees. So we're hoping by the end of this week, we can actually start printing a couple designs, trying out some different things. And uh, I don't know, it's just exciting to have all the equipment, all the boxes, almost ready together and almost actually ready to start screen printing t-shirts. All right, off to grab E36 right now. Pretty excited, I've seen a couple pictures of it, but I haven't actually seen it in person. It's been kind of half done for a while. I mean, I know what it looks like. I know the color and everything, but I'm excited to see it done. Yo, damn dude, turned out good. Hey, you got the bumper clean, especially for how much like damage and stuff there was. The paint is just lifting off underneath the vinyl. Like you can see the vinyl color and then the green paint underneath. Yeah. So, so we'd have to almost completely sand that, huh? I, I sanded all the spots that were lifting as best as I could. Um, but I mean, for the condition the car was in, it's not Yeah, this, this bumper was messed up. Woo! It's looking good. So you guys, look at this. We got, a, we got a little power bank matching both the 92 and the E36. It's pretty sick. How was the... Uh, how is the KPMF to work with? Um, I like it. The thing is, um, with cold temperatures, it kind of turns a little stiff. So even when you lay it, like for instance, when I wrapped around the rear bumper, you don't only have to squeegee it, you have to squeegee it, and then you have to basically post heat it immediately. That way it doesn't stiffen up. So prevent it from lifting, and it, it's got a pretty good look to it. Uh, the air release is pretty nice, and it's uh, a really fixable material. How, how does it compare, you think, to like the 3M that you used in the Obviously, Honestly, Avery. using using more materials now, um, I actually prefer to use like Inositec and KPMF rather than 3M. Although I am trained for 3M, but I don't know something about like the thicker materials just feels better when you lay it on the car. So, all right. So right now the side skirts are actually off. You can see Chris has them right here. Um, there's a bunch of broken clips from the previous owner. I bought a whole bunch of clips, little what the little screws, yeah. the push pins or whatever they are. Yeah push pins, all that stuff. And so I'm kind of waiting the mail still for those. So we're not gonna put the, these on right now. But I mean, even just seeing the rear bumper done, the gloss black roof, it's looking good. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go park this over here. Okay. And then I'll, I'll be right back. Right. Moment of truth, guys. So the window regulators are fixed, but this car needs new tracks as well. So we're gonna try to put these windows up. Nope, getting scared. Ah, uh, damn it. All right, I'm gonna have to fix that shit. Damn it. This side needs a new window track. All right, I'm gonna borrow uh, Chris's quick jacks for a little bit to actually mount the front lip. So these are gonna be, these are gonna be to move them. Basically, you can just grab onto them anywhere. Slide it out. Okay, cool. These are going to be your short blocks. Sweet. If you want to raise the car a little bit more, you got tall blocks. You can mix and match them. Um, okay. For instance, on my car, I'm missing like some jack pads. So I put like, two of these and two of these, basically. So that's how it's even all the way around? Cool. 
All right, dude. Thanks for everything. Ah. Okay, so here's the current state of the car. Um, I'm waiting for clips for that stuff right there, and basically they were a lot of those are broken, so I still need to get clips. Um, I'm gonna test fit the front bumper real quick. Uh, I am waiting on a piece. Well, I know it's not gonna. I know it's gonna rub wrong, but I just want to see if there's a possibility that once I get this other piece right here, I want to see if it'll rub, not rub, because it doesn't rub on this side, and so kind of interesting that it only rubs on one side right now. Let's just fit this on and see. This is the piece I'm missing right here. It's pretty good. So those pieces, those pieces I just did will partly go right here. Yeah, it's not gonna stay on because this piece is missing. All right, well, that's cool. All right, so when I clean the uh, closet, Last week, I basically put all these trim pieces from the car in here. So this is for the front. You can see what this third license plate would go. So I'm just gonna grab. I'm gonna grab all these right now, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just put these on. So I actually bought a bunch of extra clips for all this stuff. Um, a lot of this stuff in the car is broken, uh, just like I mentioned earlier with the side skirts. So I just gotta put a bunch of extra ones on so that I can go ahead and clip these uh, little trim pieces in, back in. So one of my least favorite parts about the E36 is literally these trim, trim pieces. Now, no matter what I do, I feel like these trim pieces always, like you can see how this one's sticking out. I literally had to hit this one with a mallet right now to get this one piece to go in. So basically the trim pieces are like this, and these, this is a broken one, but there's a piece on the top and a piece on the bottom. They need to go in the door. Um, and a lot of times they just don't go in and you can't, obviously can't pull them from the, the other side on places like the fender. So, I don't know, they're just, they're really irritating clips and this car was made in the 90s, so it all makes sense. Yeah, that one's not working. Just trying to sand down all the, uh, oh, there's like overspray all over all this. And also just figured I get it, get it smoother. Car's bugging me today. Like I said, I had to hit those the damn trim pieces with a mallet. And it's just like, dude, they shouldn't need that much effort for trim pieces. That's pretty good. It works. <laughs> I had to come up with something. I think that's it. For right now. All right. Spray these motherfuckers. So my only issue is that I might have to do all of them because I don't have satin black. I'm just gonna spray like one coat the way they look a little bit better, but they don't look like too gnarly. I know it's wet right now. It's not gonna look amazing, but I was more just trying to get them to match the newer pieces than make them look super glossy. So I guess worst case scenario, I just paint those as well, but I don't even want to take those off the car. Also, these will be on the front and the, uh, you might be able to tell a little bit when they're these two pieces, when it's this and this, but otherwise it's going to be in the front. It's going to be out of the way. So, oh, well, I was basically able to get all the trim pieces on right here. Here's a good example of what I did with just the light painting. Uh, sorry guys, the lights, the lights aren't the best. But it's hard to tell on camera, it shows up a lot more in person. But this side is not painted, and this side is, and this side looks super faded. And this actually blends more with the original one. So that side over there is, is not painted, it's just brand new. I didn't buy new pieces for this side. I thought I did when I bought all the trim pieces, but I didn't. So this is actually an old piece and it's faded, it's cracked, it's, you know, it's just old. Um, 
but here let me see if I can get you can see them right there side by side and it's a pretty big difference this was just painted with super wrap it's not even paint but definitely made a difference looks a little bit better and uh yeah so all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video I'll catch you guys next time later